welcome back to Ozymandias Gaming everyone! So, if you are here because of the smithing video, I am going to show you how to make some money to up your smithing. If not, this is just a great way to make some starting cash, cash, gold in the early game. And we are going to start this process at the Pelagia farm. Pelagia? Pelagia or Pelagia? That's for you to fight over in the comments. Um, so we're going to start here at Pelagia farm. Now I like to do this in the daylight because it's uh, uh, more fun that way. So I'm going to skip a little bit until the morning. So the name of the game here is Alchemy. What we're going to do is we're going to run around, collect a bunch of supplies, and then we're going to go to the alchemist and I'll show you how to make a bunch of potions that you can sell for decent money pretty early in the game. Okay, so around uh, um, Whiterun, especially around these farms, there's usually a lot of these ingredients just like lying around. So the way I usually do it in early games is start around here in Pelagia farm. And then go around and then I just pick up everything I find on my way. I pick up mountain flowers. Now, the things that can earn you the most money are, if you can see there, there's always butterflies around these farms, by the way. You want to grab the monarch butterflies, but most importantly is the blue butterflies. These blue butterflies um, will come in really super handy later. So now, just so I don't bore you with all the collection thing, I am going to speed over the next um the collecting process let's say the most important things to collect are lavender blue mountain flowers and cotton so here around the farms you will find a whole bunch of stuff so grab these blue butterflies as much as you can i saw another one there where are you hiding yeah. um so yeah once you collect these blue mountain flowers, blue butterflies, and uh, uh, a bunch of other stuff. We're going to head to Whiterun. And in Whiterun, I'll slow down again to show you what you can do. Aha, gotcha. Okay, so let's speed up. Shwoop. Now, this is important. If you're still in the early game and you don't have good equipment, do not cross that bridge because then you won't be protected. But the guards will protect you here if something attacked you. Oh, blue butterfly. Ah, gotcha. So stay on this side of the bridge while you're collecting stuff. All right, speed up. Shwoop. So another important part is in this farm here, there's a bunch of wheat. So you want to grab these wheats because we are going to use them in some potions later. Okay, we grab our wheat. And once you got the wheat from this farm, um, you can hop back to um, Whiterun. Okay, so what is awesome so about Whiterun, especially during Last Seed, um, which is one of the months in Skyrim, um, it is full to the brim with all kind of stuff that you can pick up. Especially, you have a bunch of Blue Mountain flowers, you have a bunch of Lavenders, which are important, and a lot of cotton. So you want to grab as much of these as you can, and then we're going to head to the... Uh, um, um, alchemist. So for now, I'm going to speed up and pick those things. You can watch if you want to know where to pick everything. And uh, if not, you can just jump right into the alchemist. All right, let's speed it up. Shweep.
Okay, so that's pretty much a decent amount of things that we picked. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We have some wheat, that's important. We have cotton and we have lavender. Great, these are what you need. Okay, so now we're going to run into the alchemist. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can use the alchemist in here or down there. The only reason I don't go here is that because, like, this thing will get triggered of talking with the Jarl and stuff and it'll take a while. So let's jump down to the alchemist down in the marketplace. And whoop! So first things first, we are going to save. Because I'm a big fan of saving. So now we're going to use the alchemy lab. So you want to start by making blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower with wheat. This is a decent poison of damage magicka region. So you make a few of these. And then if we level up, we did. So it's always a smart idea early game to invest at least one point in alchemy. Just so that your potions are, in general, stronger. So we're gonna continue with blue butterfly wing and, blue, and mountain flower. You can also add the normal butterfly wing to make a little bit more expensive potions. Once you threw these together. Then what you can do is you can make Thundra Cotton with Lavender and Red Mountain Flower. And they make 130 potions, so you make a bunch of those. And Nightshade and Lavender, uh, sorry, Thistle Branch and Purple make a potion of Resist Front. It's not very expensive, but it's okay. You can add a blue mountain flower to this. No, it was a dragon tongue. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, so you experience around a little bit, but I think nightshade and lavender do something. No. Okay, blue mountain flower with nightshade. They make a damage magic region. Then you can add lavender to that. Yeah, that's the one. And then you can make a bunch of those. And I think that's it. With blue mountain and lavender, you can make some fortify conjuration. And I think that's it, if I remember correctly. Oh no, this makes a fortify illusion, but these two don't work together. So now you will see that we have a bunch of potions that you can sell. Pardon me, but do take a look for a decent amount, most of them. So you can sell, 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 sell. Nope. And then you Come can jump to. Belthazor, oh god, I hate him so much. Belthazor, sorry. Good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything. Take a look. Do come back. And here you have it. We made a bunch of money super early in the game. Now we have. Not that much, 2200, but for the purposes of upping our uh, um, smithing from the smithing video, if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description. Um, it is perfect, and you can do this over and over again. You can go around in a bunch of cities, grab these ingredients, and you can make a decent amount of money very quickly just to get you started. And then you will up your smithing like we saw in the other video and get to that OP equipment super quickly. So I am Ozzy. This is Ozymandias Gaming. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. You are fantastic. Please leave me a, a comment downstairs. Uh, downstairs. <laughs> Please leave me a comment uh, um, in the, uh, if you want me to do any other tips or tricks. I think the next video I'm going to work on is like a ultimate alchemy guide. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what kind of things I want to do with this channel. It's still pretty new to me. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching again. I am Ozzy, and have a fantastic day.